Hey guys, we're Mr. Nervy, you're back from our video. Today I'm back with more Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we made our way through the first few floors of Mangatsu Mandala. We're here at the second mini boss, and after this, it's straight up until Adachi. So, we gotta beat this guy first. And this guy is gonna be tough because he is strong against every element. Yeah, he's all, he's immune to light and darkness. He's strong against every element, and he drains electricity attacks. Which, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Also, he has high counter, so that's nice. The best thing to do is to go in with physical moves and almighty moves, but as you saw, he has high counter. So, even the physical move is dangerous. But I think high counter is only like a 15% chance of... Uh, a 15% chance of countering the move, so nine. Um, most of the time you will actually hit with those physical moves. <sighs> Salvation's gonna come in so handy. But yeah, if you can hit physical moves, then use physical moves, but otherwise that's gonna happen. Oh god. Yukiko? Nice, nicely done Yukiko. But yeah, if I use... Obviously you can use your elemental moves. They're just not gonna do like as much as maybe uh, Almighty or you know physical if you manage to hit without a counter, which those counters are going to be a pain. I couldn't defeat it. Don't worry, you're fine. Uh, who has Almighty on my team? I forget. Thor does. Okay, let's go to Thor. All right, Megido, it's not gonna. If we had Megidola, uh, Megidola on, then that'd be cool. But Megido will use it. Um, I'm actually gonna have. I'm gonna have Yugi go use Salvation here. Just to get everybody back up to full. Because Yuki Go and Naoto really needed that heal. Uh, that inflicts fear. Or no, oh, it's panic. I thought it was fear. Uh, shoot, do you have anything that can get rid of fear? I don't think you do. We have an item. Someone has an item. I think we have an item, right? That gets rid of fear. Or panic. Same thing. You go, you need that. You're fine. Break away. Alright. Halfway down. We're halfway there. Alright, where? Agadine. Yeah. Whatever you do, avoid using electricity because the, I'm pretty sure he drains. This guy drains electricity. So avoid using electricity at all costs. Anything else is on the table. Wind is on the table. Ice is on the table. Fire. Physical if you can manage to land a hit without a counter. Rise. Thank you, Rise. All our attacks are avoided back to normal now, so we're gonna do a little less damage. Yeah. The auto Mataru Kaiba worn off. But we did a lot of damage already. Like, we're already. We're, we're, on, we're on good track here. Defense averted? That's fine. Who's panicked? Yosuke? What? No! Yosuke! God damn it, you idiot. You also, you idiot. Now, break away. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure this hill, this will end it right here. Yup. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of XP. 75. Nice. Is everyone getting? Yes, everyone gets level up. Nice. Oh, come on. You couldn't get one more level? You couldn't get one more level, Naoto? Power Skating Weaker might be able to pass through that place now. Let's go back. Oh, shoot. Yeah, reconnect, please. I would prefer to stay connected. Um, I think... Hold on. How far away is... Not Teddy. Naoto. How far is Naoto from... You are rather far from leveling up. See, I want to get... Naoto to learn Megadola on before we go up and fight Adachi. I, 
Mm. Or should I just risk it? I think I'm just gonna risk it. But, uh, yeah, after you've reached that point, this point in the dungeon, you've defeated the second mini boss. Use the uh, use the go home first of all. Uh, I'm gonna return to the entrance real quick. Um, let me let me heal everybody up. Okay, gonna get the SP. Sweet. I'm gonna go in here. Make sure our Dodge Armor Personas, result of your hard work and connection, is please take the small gift. As you have this, I will reduce the cost of something. Yes. Reduced by 10%. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't have any skin cards. Skin cards? Skin. Wow. Skill cards is what I meant to say. And yet, for some reason, I could not say it. Alright. Kaguya. Weak to fire. But who do I have to give up? Mm. Huh. See, those moss skills aren't really going to come in handy because from now on you don't really... Cause after a after Adachi's little thing right here is like, hmm. But it's nice to have. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back and do this. Oh, not to mention that rank ten boost. Ugh, that's gonna be nice. Sorry, there was something on that screen. All right, Kaguya. Tetraja. I don't know what that is. Mahamon. That can replace Hamon. Alright. Hama boost. Uh. I don't need that. I, I really don't need that. Can we get another level? See what. Ooh, Spellmaster. Oh, come on. <sighs> That's fine. It's fine. Damn. Well, I'm most definitely not using Kaguya to fuse, that's for sure. Can I fuse you two? I, I, mm, that makes cert. But you two on your own are really good. So I'm gonna keep things as is. Alright, I'm going to have Kaguya out front so I can get that auto Mataru Kaja right in the start of battle. Uh, should I save? I'm gonna save. I'm going to save. And then, let's get back to the dachi. Alright, so. We're gonna head up there, and we gotta fight a dachi. So now, you can go back to uh, Magatsu Inaba. Alright, and now, you just have to make your way back to that place that uh, we entered Magatsu Mandala from, that hole in the floor, I think y'all remember that, from a couple episodes ago. Uh, we need to go back there. We don't need to go back in the hole, because that just leads us back to Mukatsu uh, Mandala. We can actually, now that we've defeated those shadows, those mini-bosses, we can go through that door that we couldn't head through earlier. And past that is where Adachi is. Oh! Oh, for a second I thought we were already there. Uh, no, but this... <sighs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's go find Adachi, then. So... The Adachi boss fight, I don't want to say it's incredibly tough, because, in all honesty, like, yes, it's going to be tough. Like, I will not lie. It's going to be a rough fight. He has skills that, uh, you know, it buffs him while debuffing you. Like, any buffs that you have, chance if you try to buff yourself, that's really just going to waste a turn, and he'll just debuff you with uh, Dekaja. So... Uh, don't, don't try to keep buffing yourself. If anything, try to debuff him, because he has a skill that can, uh, really increase all of his stats at once. So, 
Well, I'll get more into that once we head to that boss fight. Hitachi is just up ahead. This is it, senpai. Let's get going. Let's let's beat the son of a bitch. All right, Adachi. Wow, I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It was this world who killed it's them. It's the world yep. that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. More than you'd think. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like There's like a so little truth in what he says, but yeah, off. no, it's mostly BS there. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. Yeah, uh, we didn't ask for a call out here, Adachi. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, They'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this will make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are Isn't you there a chance about? that like some of those shadows could end up like Teddy? Come on, how many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Like how? Like there's a chance that those shadows could turn it's out like not, Teddy, right? It's useless. To like think they want to, the you know, have real human emotions and do a lot more than just like go around with their daily lives and do nothing besides that. You don't get anything that. out of facing reality and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? 
it's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to I'm sorry I'm moving so much, by the way. I don't know why. For some reason, I'm really impatient right now. Doesn't that I think I just want to get to the boss fight. It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Mmm, a little more, a little less. Depends. It would be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. To turn into shadows? They don't even know shadows so it's exist. It's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Damn, how long ago was it when Yosuke first confronted his shadow? God, it feels like it was forever ago. Probably because it was forever ago. It has been a long time since I uploaded the first episode of this of this playthrough. You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. No, it's quite understandable, actually. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have a I'm not bed. saying his actions are understandable, because they're definitely not. But this right here, living is too painful, but you don't want to die, that is understandable. Like, there are people, people can't who could do that. Alone. Who feel that way. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Not gonna lie, she's kinda right about this. Stop trying to act all tough. You guys can't even stand on your own, unless you deny everything I said. Stupid teenagers, you have no idea what kind of shit I've been through. What? You got kicked out to the boonies because you made a mistake. Favored by the world, my You joined the cops because you wanted to own a gun legally. Just that's kind of your own far fault there, buddy. That, if that's the main reason of you joining the cops and you're suddenly bored of it and don't like it, that's kind of your fault there. Here he comes. This will probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got. Oh, that's the plan. All right. The world is about to change. Your existence won't belong there. I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague. I'll have to get rid of all of you. I wish we could get rid of you, but we'll make sure you pay for what you've done. Let's do it. If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this. Never know. Shut up. Get lost. I am slightly higher under leveled though, because I'm. I think we're like I'm supposed to be in the 80s by this fight. I am slightly under leveled right here. Yeah, so there's really no point in uh, doing anything to his stats. Like, if you want to, you can lo- what does this do? Nullify insta-kill. That would come in helpful. Uh, especially because this guy does have a uh, Mudun, which is the insta-kill darkness thing. But it's only like a medium chance, I believe. So... So yeah, you can definitely go and lower his defense, but he has Heat Riser, which uh, increases all of his stats all at once. So I am actually going to switch over to Thor right here, and let's do some Thunder Rain on you. Ooh, that did a decent amount right there. Alright. So Dekaja is also going to come in handy whenever he uses Heat Riser. The Kaja is gonna come in very handy there. Uh, should I have? I think I'm gonna have Naoto use fire. I wanna save the oh Megi God. skills. I don't wanna just like shove all the SP right out the door with Naoto. Or with myself, really, but Thunder Rain is a very strong move. Damn, 
Shut up and let me finish you off! Heat riser, there we go. A persona? But that can't be! Yeah, so if you guys didn't notice right there, Adachi does have a persona, and... I don't know about you, but that persona looked pretty familiar. Don't you think? Yeah, I, I, I think that persona looked rather familiar. Maybe that's just me. But, uh, no, Adachi's persona, I, th I think we'll see it in a little bit. Yeah, Megido does much less damage. Oh, shoot, I should've used the Kaja. I should've used the Kaja with the Yosuke. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot, I should've used the Kaja. I should use the Kaja. I don't know why I didn't. I, it just completely slipped my mind. Right after, I, right after I was saying use the Kaja on Adachi, use the Kaja on Itachi. Itachi? Did I say Itachi? Oh God. Oh, Yosuke, you good? The Kaja. Well, that gets rid of our increased attack, but that's fine. Alright, let's go back to Thunder Reigns. Yosuke can get back up and... Uh... Use Dekaja. You're pissed now, huh? Uh, Dekaja, please. It's only 10 SP, too. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna have Nato keep using uh, Megadola. Yeah, I'm gonna. I need you to stop using Thunder Rain because that's already a lot of SP You're that I'm such down. A pain in the ass. I'll kill you, just like I did those other ones. Vocal right again. I think that's fine. He doesn't have a heat riser on him right now. Rise, hi. What do you got for me? Attack increase? Yes. Thank you. I could do that, but I'm not gonna. Actually, let's see if... No? I could I could throw you out and just do, like, just use that high counter skill and then use these two back to back. Actually, yeah, why don't I do that? Why don't I do that? Let's do that. And then if need be, I can always have Yukiko use Salvation to save me. Alright, so power charge. Alright, Yusuke. Go back to Gardine. Nice. Megadola. 260. Okay, we're doing significant damage now, but that's that that's thanks to the attack increase that Rise gave us. 322, nice. High counter! Yeah! Throw him only 38, but even a small amount like that is great. It's a lot of HP, but it should do some good damage. Miss! Oh my god, you are kidding me, right? You have got to be kidding me. Wow, okay. So that's how we're doing this. Wow, okay. Wow, that was a waste of HP. You could go finish this guy off. Finish this guy off. There we go. And that's the end of it. Alright, so even though I'm under leveled, I still managed to do uh, pretty well here. That's nice. Okay, that's a lot of money. Hey. Hey, Naruto level up? Did Naruto get the level up though? Naruto better have got. I think Naruto, Naruto got a level up. Yeah, Fire Amp. Yes. Alright. And that's Yugi Go learned every skill. Megadola on! Yes! Yes! This is severe almighty damage. Yes! Alright. God damn. Damn. This is lame. Yeah, it, it kinda is there, buddy. <laughs> well, our world's gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> what? There we go. What the? All humans will become shadows. And 
and I shall descend upon the united world as the master of order. Descend? Order? What's with this guy all of a sudden? What's happening? Guys, this is an Adachi. It's someone completely different. Yeah, it's that whatever being was possessing Adachi. Both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog. Also, Adachi's persona, uh, I believe, is called Magatsu Izanagi, but I could be wrong about that. I will check that. It will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? Do, 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 do. I am Amino Sagiri. There you are, Amino Sagiri. One who rules the fog. One awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well, stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. It is Magatsu Izanagi. Yes, it is. Okay, I was right about that. Sorry, I was looking. I was trying to make sure I was correct about that. That is why I decided to expand this world. And Magatsu Izanagi literally, I believe it. It translates to calamity, Izanagi. So, hmm, haha, -ha. calamity. It's it's kind of fitting for a dachi, and I believe it's like. It has to do with uh, that story that we heard when we went to uh, Katsumi Port Island about Izanagi and Izanami, and when Izanagi went to go rescue Izanami from the. Uh, well, we'll get into that a bit. And by a bit, I mean a few episodes down the road. A hollow forest born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit, they wish not for truth but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was kind of busy trying to find stuff about, uh... I was trying to find- I was trying to find some about Magatsu Izanagi that I was not paying attention to anything that was said. A hollow forest? Then, this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the hollow forest. Hollow forest. Will you shut up already! We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over! It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Yeah, so this guy claims to be the one who gave us the power to Pacific enter TVs power. and stuff. Contact with this world. Power personas, whatever. You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window, from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. That's basically what the Midnight Channel is. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It 
was all in people's minds. Someone pops up on the news and suddenly that's all they think about. I have to say, it must be true. The midnight channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. It was what the public thought Namatame then was. It came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? Probably. We let ourselves be deluded. Yep. So if we had pushed Nawatame into the TV, that would have been bad. Like that, what we heard on that TV wasn't his true thoughts. That was just what we thought his intentions and his thoughts were. Or at least it was influenced by our thought of a, of uh, who Nawatame was. Enough talk already. Long story short, you're the one behind all this. Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down. People want to become shadows. Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing. Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in? Or not? Must be tested. And by tested, it means boss fight, which I'll say for the next episode. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. We have another boss fight.